Hi. Hello. Grüezi. So you remember this short I posted nearly one year ago? This one is a 3D printed optical illusion and I promise to show you how to do one like that yourself. I will show you the classical version where you have like two axes where you can look at the part and it will spell two names. So you know, you can download these in the hundreds online where you can have your name and your spouse names. They even generators. But I always think it's nice to know how to do it yourself with like a cat program like Inventor or Fusion. And then I show you how I did the optical illusion where you can look at it at three ways. We, we put down a drawing in one axis and we simply use the text tool. So I don't know, what text should we go with? What do you think? I don't know, but I don't think it's pumpkin juice. Since we took nearly a year to finally do that uh, tutorial and explanation how we did it, uh, let's go with happy 2025, I would guess. It's nearly 2025. You take your text tool, you put it on one side and you just put happy there. I really like to use capital letters because they give you a little bit more space to play with and like you don't have the size differences which could mess up your other words. So with capital letters everything is like the same size which is pretty good. How big do we want to have it? Since I'm not printing that one out I don't care but let's say we have like 10. We simply finish the drawing and we use the extrude feature to extrude it. So we go for a very long extrude because I want to put the second word there and we have to have enough space. So let's do like 50 millimeters. I think that should be sufficient. So then I go and I make another drawing 90 degrees to my old drawing. I want to have it on the right side. So I want to spin it to the right. So you read it like happy 2025, like you would read a book. So 2025. 10 millimeters height, bolt, go. So now we simply align wherever we are happy with it. So as you see, my twos are coming out of the top and my zero as well. So what I actually do, I go a little bit smaller with the size here. We have to hit the height perfectly. So everything is there. So let's do 9.6. That looks good. There is a neat trick when you use a real CAD software. So I extrude now the 2025 all the way through, but then I click intersection only. It will only keep where the two bodies collide. So as soon as I click OK, we're actually pretty much already done. If I look from that side, it reads happy. If I look from that side, it reads 2025. But now, of course, if you only have those two, you don't need like the whole array. If I look here, we only need one of each row and line that we need to keep. So what I normally just do is like I put a drawing on the bottom and then I just basically cut out what I don't need. So in that case, I normally just take my line tool and I start on like the right top corner and then in a zigzag pattern, I go down and delete every other letter of every other row or line. So basically why I go like super crazy diagonal like that is I'm trying to get away with the least amount of printed parts. And so I need one in each row and I need one in each column to be able to read it. So I could of course just keep like the left side here and the bottom side and I do like that and I can read it, but it's always the front text. And for example, when you do that, the first two of 2025 will be there five times behind each other. I don't need that. I only need it once. So you can see that here I marked it. So I cut away this whole edge and I cut away this whole edge. So I mark this and I mark this. I go in both direction through everything and cut it away. So now you can see what is marked red will be invisible later. So basically, when I look like that, 2025, it's a diagonal and here we have happy. So what I then normally do is I simply draw like kind of a base below it because you want to be able to 3D print that of course. So I just put a base on like this area and you can go with bases like ever you want. Like for example, this one, wouldn't it be nice if we have like an ellipse or then like that. Extrude that a little bit, like let's say two millimeters. And we are done. We have our optical illusion of happy 2025.
Most people don't have industrial 3D printers at home. That's why I'm excited to announce our partnership with one of the most competitively priced and high quality manufacturers out there, PCBWay. PCBWay is very renowned for their PCB manufacturing capabilities. They also offer industrial grade 3D printing and with worldwide shipping, it will show up within days on your doorstep. If you want to get your 3D scan printed, give PCBWay a try. So let's continue with the tutorial. And while this is printing, I will actually teach you how to do the three-way optical illusion. Here's a little sneak peek on how the Happy New Year one looked. This time I got it to the left because the original idea with that optical illusion is to have it on a stand and then push lights on both sides. So you don't read it on the optical illusion itself. You actually read it on the shadows on the wall and the new you read on the part. As you can see, you can read happy here. You can read new in the middle and you can read year on the left side. And if you look from the top, there you see I didn't cut out any of the letters. So what I could have done is in this case, like cut an L shape, you could still read it then. But I thought like it looks neat when it's like all there. Again, we put in the word happy and we again extrude this. And this time, as I said, we put it to the left and here I will put on the text year. Then we do the same exact thing as we did before. We put extrusion, go here, invert direction. And then we say only do whatever cuts. So in order to put my third perspective on it, I need a 45 degrees angle for the original. So I simply choose plane. I look for an edge of the part that is straight up. For example, here, the Y is very good. Then I simply click a second time and I say like, okay, I want to have 45 degrees. Okay. And because I want to see better what I'm doing and I'm now pulling the plane out of my part. Okay, accept that. And we do a drawing on there. And here I simply write new. Again, capital letters, 10 millimeters big. So the easiest way of doing that now after we have our 45 degree plane is actually we want to use our volume. So we simply go up here and we say object kopieren, which means copy object. And then we just mark our object. We make sure that we click on repair geometry and we click OK. And now we have that two times. We extrude our new through it and we cut away everything. We want the hole and the shape of the new. Because if we would just do like the interference, two volumes inside of each other, so the slicer wouldn't actually understand what to do. So we click OK. And then you see now basically you have only lines because our second body is basically closing the hole already. You see if I delete it, now you can watch, uh, look through. So I make it visible again. Now I want to reuse that drawing. I just use the new one. So I click on it and I say, you sketch again. So now I click on extrude. I mark the same thing. And the only thing I change is basically I want to have it cut through each other. And because we have two volumes, I actually have to change the volume here from volume one to volume two. And now it will only do where year and volume two cut over each other. Hover over uh, volume two, you see that volume two is only the infill. And volume one is all the rest around. You can see it here marked in green. So let me zoom in a little so you can see it a little better. So if I hover this one, you see what it's green. And if I hide it, you can see through the part. To make it even more visible, I simply color now the other volume blue. You saw in my original last time that I kept the whole array because I thought it just looks neat to present because it's very complicated. But that was only possible because I printed it in Polyjet. Because I didn't need to get in and get supports out because supports in Polyjet are kind of like a wax-like structure where you just need like high pressured water. So there you have it. That's how I did a three-way optical illusion. I would love to see how you do it and what words do you will use. So leave a comment maybe with your creation and maybe also a picture. Can you, can you add pictures to YouTube comments? Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked my content and maybe watch another of my videos. See you then.